Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the Crafty Sister YouTube Hub. It is a group of 13 artists from all over the world that created 30 mixed media projects with video tutorial to inspire you. This hub has 30 fabulous sponsors, so please read the rules in the description box for the opportunity to win an amazing prize. I have been asking to create a mixed media layout and my ins the inspiration to this hub is summer. So let's get started. I use the Stretmore watercolor uh, paper. It is a uh, 12 by 12 and I have I want to create something with multiple photos I know that many of you ask me to create a project with multiple photos so I would do that today but I'm this time I'm going to use the watercolor this one are from Prima and this is from Jane uh, Davenport so I will I want to create uh, I'm going to use the different shades of blue in both of these uh, watercolor to create a background I am trying to find colors similar to the photos to create something nice on the background first I'm going to line out of these uh, photos because I want to know less or more when I'm going to place the, the photo it's not exactly in this uh, space but I just need to have an idea so I trace it now I take my uh, water uh, my sp um, water, spray of water uh, I spray water uh, over the watercolors to let it blend it a little now I also um, I spray water over the paper I prefer in that way because the uh, I uh, notice that the pain uh, runs better when it's wet than it when it's dry so i am dabbing uh the pa the paint brush i just take a little of the watercolor and dabbing the brush in the areas i am following the pencil mark so I i'm going to try to give colors uh I like one inch or one inch and a half behind the pencil marks because i don't want to cover all the paper and I'm going to continue dabbing this in, in, in two different shades of blue. Les decía que esto es un uh, blog, un hub today en YouTube. Uh, y somos 13 artistas de diferentes partes del mundo. En la cajita están las reglas chicas así que, y chicos, así que aprovechen y leen para que participen. Hay muchos premios. Son 30 auspiciadores. Y estoy haciendo un layout, uh, pero esta vez voy a darle color. Estoy usando un papel de... Uh, de watercolor de acuarela y lo que hice es que le di golpecitos con el con la pintura eh, primero mojar bien el papel porque de esta manera la pintura noto que corre bien y después estoy usando varios tonos de azules y le estoy dando canta, cantacitos luego le echo agua seco y vuelvo a aplico más creo capitas de color de esta manera estoy tratando de conseguir colores similares a las de la pintura y estoy haciendo un layout con múltiples fotos como ustedes me lo habían pedido ok now i add uh, some layers of this color and now I, i add some paint splatters over all these textures once it's dry i again apply other coat or other layer of color and i dry again it's important that you dry between each layer and once it's dry i just put the photo to see that everything looks like i want i am placing the photos and it's time to add textures so i'm going to remove the photos and then I'm going to use this stencil from Dina Whitley. I just love that it has uh, the stars. So I am thinking that maybe I can use like a beach star, uh, sea star. So I am placing the uh, stencil behind the photo. I am trying to uh, figure out where uh, it will look better. Now I apply modeling paint with a spatula. I'm going to apply uh, two coats of modeling paste and then over the modeling paste i will add gesso heavy gesso in that way uh, i i uh, highlight the stencil work les decía que una vez seco lo que hice fue que uh, sequé bien eh, eh, la hoja y ahora lo que hice que usé esta plantilla 
Y primero le apliqué Modeling Paste, le unté como dos veces Modeling Paste y luego le apliqué eh, Yeso, porque quería que el stencil se notara bastante bien. Y estoy usando este, esta plantilla uh, en forma de estrella para simular como una estrella de mar. Y sigo jugando para aquí con la plantilla para crear las texturas. I continue adding the, uh, the stars or the... I am playing with the stencil to cover the area that I want here on my page. And once I am happy how it looks, I will use the heat uh, tool to dry everything. Ahora me gusta cómo se ve y lo que voy a hacer es que voy a secarlo bien con el secador. Once it's dry, I am now, uh, I already uh, put a mat to each photo, a white mat, and I take this, uh, This crochet, this is a piece that I cut, that I bought at Michael, and I'm cutting uh, the crochet uh, to create a shape, and, and with the center, with the uh, semicircle, I will create or complete the, the doily. And I want to place this uh, uh, behind my photo. I also put a piece of cardboard behind the photo to create dimension, and now I'm going to start to build my composition and to place the photo in the places that I want. I'm not sure it, it will be there, so I'm not adhering anything at this moment, but I know that I love the crochet there, so I am adhering with uh, hot glue. Les decía que este eh, cogí un pañito de crochet y lo recorté más o menos, le di una formita, luego lo pegué en el área que quiero y y ahora mismo estoy pegando la, la foto principal, las otras las voy a poner más o menos porque no estoy segura aún. I adhere the this big photo, but now I'm going, I am uh, painting or apply gesso to the shipboard. This shipboard are from Creative Embellishment, that is one of the sponsors of this uh, hub. And I apply gesso to all the pieces, to all the shipboard. Just apply gesso, so easy. Y les comento que estoy usando unas piezas de shipboard. Estos son de Creative Embellishment, que es uno de los auspiciadores. Y simplemente lo que estoy haciendo es aplicándole gesso y las voy a secar. Así de fácil, no, nada complicado. Now I'm going to dry all the shipboard pieces. Um, I want to let the shipboard as simple as possible because you will see what I'm going to do at the end with these pieces. Now I'm going to dry all the, all the pieces. Then once it is dry, I'm, I'm going to start to build my composition. I'm using the shoe board. I'm going to cut this piece, the medium one at half to put one on the top of the photo uh, over in the corner here. And here are the three pieces of shipboard. Now I'm, I'm using a tack, uh, tacky glue uh, to adhere all the shipboards. And I'm also going to start to adhere the two photos in the bottom. Les comentaba que lo que hice fue que corté una de las piezas de shipboard, la mediana por la mitad, y la coloqué en la parte de arriba de la foto y la otra en la esquina. Y lo pegué todo con tacky glue. Y las dos fotos uh, de arriba las estoy pegando. Now it's time to add flowers and create uh, make the embellishment here uh, to my layout. I'm using different flowers from Prima, Blue Fern Studio, and I'm just uh, adhering everything with hot glue. I just uh, I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm just uh, put the flowers because I want to mix different tones of different shades of blue here, uh, green, blue, the same color that are in, in my photos. And I also add in now the letters, the north, south, east, and west from the shipboard. And I'm going to adhere it with tacky glue too. Les comento que añadí el, las letrecitas del norte, sur, este, oeste, que son parte del shipboard. Y las pegué con tacky glue también. Ahora estoy cogiendo las florecitas más pequeñas y estoy decorando y poniendo diferente aquí y allá. Esta foto no me convence mucho y van a ver que la voy a pegar 
eh, voy a despegar con cuidado el chipboard eh, que había puesto aquí y voy a pegar esta foto aquí moví todo a última hora uh, I decided to remove the, uh, to move the photo to the, this corner here so I carefully removed the chipboard and I'll hear the photo behind the, the chipboard in this corner here now I, you, I use the star and moons uh, mo uh, mold by Fina Bear uh, and create these uh, beautiful stars here that I'm going to use and I am going to adhere and put it here and there I'm just uh, looking uh, look where they look better so you will see that I am put this and then I remove so I'm still playing with all these stars here les comento que eh, usé eh, el molde de Fina Bear que se llama Estrellas y Lunas y uh, hice estas eh, estrellas que me, que me encantan y lo que estoy haciendo ahora mismo es jugando con ellas las pongo aquí, después las muevo y así voy a estar todo el, va a ver hasta que esté contenta como se ven voy a pegar esta aquí detrás de la foto y quiero que vea que sigo usando el Tacky Glue para pegar eh, también estas piezas y ahora pues le añado las flores you see that I continue adding uh, the different star I'm using the tacky glue and yeah once I know where the the star will be I add the small flowers too and now I decided to remove the big one <laughs> and put it in this side here I think that it looks better here so I'm going to adhere it in the corner and over the other uh, chipboard and then I add the rest of the flowers and the small star uh, uh, in the bo in the bottom part here. Let me tell you that I, I don't want to uh, forget that in the description box down uh, down below you will find the rules to the to the black hub the uh, many of the sponsor and you also uh, see the list of all these artists that uh, are participating in this uh, YouTube hub so you don't miss any of these video tutorial you will love all these beautiful creation now it's time to add more textures and I'm using 3d gloss gel and with our stones and I am I'm going to adhere this art stone around all these embellishment behind the flowers and around uh, of this uh, <coughs> of, of my composition you will notice that I I'm not trying to cover the edges because I want when I dive in the paintbrush I just want to recreate like the splash of water is in, in the border so I am trying to put the art stones um, behind the crochet and over all the edges of the embellishments And other thing that I want to tell you is that this YouTube hub, you can complete the YouTube hub from today, August 1st to August 19th. So, 19th. so please read all the rules and, and because I don't want that you miss uh, the opportunity to win uh, an amazing prize. I continue adding uh, the art stones over the stars here and behind the crochet over the crochet in that way i create the dimensions and uh, layers here now i'm going to add um, once i add all these uh art stone i want to add some uh, small stars that i have uh, from the same mold uh, star and moons here I cover everything at this moment and I'm adding a uh, paint splatter with the same watercolor. I'm using uh, the turquoise and the intense blue to create this uh, paint splatter. Now I add white paint splatter to smooth and soft everything here.
now I've removed uh, everything and I've hidden two butterflies, you know that I love butterflies and I have this one from from on paper and I put it there. Now it's time I'm going to use uh, this uh, white pearl uh, paint by Fina Vera and I'm going to paint the the stars, the mold stars with this paint. I just love about this paint that when it's dry it looks like pearls. It is so beautiful. I, I will try to show you at the end in the photo. Maybe you can uh, uh, <coughs> you can see what I'm telling. I also paint. I also paint in the. I am painting the R stones in, uh, here and all the the letters, all the shibors and the R stones. And here is when I'm going to add some pearls. here and there I adhere it with the hot glue this time I'm not using the gel medium I just love how it, the look that it gives but at this moment I realized that I need uh, my title so I take this hashtag summer uh, she bore from uh, creative embellishment and I apply gesso I also did the same uh, I had the watercolors that I use for my background so I paint in both colors and I dry uh, well with the heat tool then I apply gesso to give this chubby chic look and to smooth the, the blue uh, tone at this point I realized that it's too big so I I cut the hashtag and I'm going to adhere here I'm going to remove the butterfly and adhere this over the flowers and here you can see all the dimensions and textures you can see more of this photo on my blog and in my social media i hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial if you like it please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and now it's time to follow the next the next talented lady jessica larios here is the click here to follow her uh, youtube channel See you soon. Bye.